Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will show you two trash to treasure DIYs and uh, I absolutely love them both, how they turned out. One I'm obsessed with, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this video is also part of a challenge and it's called Using Trash to Create Treasure and it is hosted by Casey over at uh, Coffee with My Sunshine and her co-host Heidi at Heidi Sambol DIY. These are amazing ladies with amazing creativity DIY so jump on over to the channels after this video and check them out. I will leave a link to the channels in the description box below along with a link to the playlist of this challenge. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, upcycling of items, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. And please join me on my adventures. You know the routine, subscribe button, notification bell. So let's get DIYing. It's literally trash because I found it in a dumpster. I was there with my husband, we were throwing things away and I saw this right at the bottom of the dumpster and I said, I want that, but it's forbidden to take anything out that's already in there. So since I don't speak that good French yet, uh, I convinced my husband to talk to the guy working there and to say that he accidentally threw this in the dumpster and could they just get it out and they did yay uh, it's not working not that clock neither that one on the other side it's not it's not vintage uh, it's quite new and uh, yeah you see the, the, it's just cheap mechanisms there and i don't know what to do with it just yet but uh, I'm starting to take out the clock. It's just plastic, but it, it gave up a good fight. It was glued really, really tight there. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, what shall I do with this? Sign, probably, something. I try to get it out without breaking the glass. I succeeded with the first one. And um, the second one is a little bit tighter. So, shall I make a sign? Mm, yeah, I could do that. It would be nice, actually. So, here we are. Almost there. And... Oh, man. And while picking up the glass pieces there, it came to me this idea what to do, something completely different. And you will see in just a second, I will uh, incorporate some greenery and uh, a candle. But first, spray painting in a matte black color. I will also use this uh, jar lid and this iron rooster that I found. And voila, look at this. Can you see it? It's up on the wall there. I made a lantern and I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it turned out beautiful. Look at it, a rooster on the top there and greenery just pouring out of it and of course you can see it from both the sides the greenery I have used a glue gun to attach and the LED light there is resting on the jar lid that I also glued down 
And look at the rooster, it found its place there. Just love it. Okay, this project, I have this one. Don't know if you can see what it says. Omako, Chateau Omako. It's a wine brand and this is part of a wood case for wine, I guess. Yeah, someone throw that away. I'm keeping it. That, oh my God, the nails are still here. We ripped it off our doorway, I would say, and um, it was destined for the dump, but I said, no, mm, use this. So starting off by sanding the sign there, light sanding, don't want to scratch off the text or anything, just to clean it up a bit. and uh, remove the nails and use a wood filler to fill in the holes left cutting the wood strip to sides to fit around the sign get the nice edges there you have them and i'm sanding them off And painting the frame in a matte black color. And oops, there it went down. And then I'm starting to dry brush the sign with a white acrylic, just a tiny bit. And I also do that with the frame. Then I staple the frame together just to hold it in place and here my problem starts a little bit. I couldn't find the right things to uh, hold the frame in place. Uh, uh, just use that to start with and then I use some small screws that I found and now I'm touching up everything. Uh, but hey, it adds to the rustic charm, right? And here it is, sitting in my kitchen. I think it turned out beautiful. What do you think? Which one was your favorite? Give me a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Take care and I see you in my next one. Bye.